This is Leo, and welcome back to Space Lab. This video covers how LFE channels are treated in the latest version of Space Lab. Early versions of Space Lab, the ones predating version 1.5, practically ignored LFE channels since these channels are not really relevant to reverberation. However, things have changed a bit now that Space Lab can connect and work alongside our Dolby Atmos Composer plugin. In this new workflow, LFE channels are now routed directly through Spacelab, either to the output or to the Dolby Atmos composer. Basically, incoming sources with channels declared as LFE are passed on to the LFE channel of the selected output layout in Spacelab. Let's have a detailed look at how this works. The speaker layouts have been changed in such a way that LFE channels are not just skipped anymore, but are declared as either LFE1 or LFE2. There are two LFEs because some commercial speaker layouts do have two LFE channels. For example, NHK 22.2. That said, the majority of layouts only have one LFE channel, and so they only use LFE 1. The LFE channels on the output will remain silent unless there is at least one source in Spacelab that has at least one channel set to LFE. In the source setup, you can set channels manually to LFE1 or LFE2, corresponding to LFE1 or 2 on the output side. Alternatively, you can select a speaker layout fitting your needs containing one or two LFE channels. If a source has one or more LFE channels, the signal on those channels can also be reverberated by Spacelab. If you do this, the reverberant part of the sound is rendered to the other channels of the output format. That means that the signal on the LFE will still be dry, but the reverberant sound will appear on the other channels. The amount of reverb can, of course, be adjusted with the LFE dry-wet slider. As you might expect, the LFE dry-wet amount can be automated. Note that if Spacelab is connected to Dolby Atmos Composer, the LFE channel of a source only reaches the Dolby Atmos Composer plugin if the output format of Spacelab contains an LFE and if the source is not switched to dynamic objects but is rendered to the composite. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.